Let's just let this sink in. Horshaw Ryu is never going to fight his uncle's greatest rival, Haku Hall. I really thought we'd get to do it this September. I was so looking forward to it, he told reporters today. I just wanted to see what it was like to face a 45-time champion for real. He even urged me to get promoted quickly before he retired. At least Horshoryu can say he practiced with the great man, though, in 2018 and 2019. And in the latter of those sessions, he added, Hakuho did a proper tachi eye on me and just blew me away. He was so supple in general, but really hardened up when he hit you. The 22-year-old then revealed an intriguing exchange which took place in the Nagoya dressing room, either before or after he received this technique prize. I congratulated him on his title, and he said, You go for it now. It's your generation's turn, Horshoryu recalled. But I still didn't take that as a sign he'd retire. September didn't go the young man's way as a fever and tonsillitis kept him out of crucial bouts. October, sadly, has gone a little better, with a wrist injury forcing him out of practice bouts this week. He says it will heal before the tournament, and that he'll focus on leg training for now. Also absent from Interstable this time was Takakesho, desperately trying to spin his way out of recent troubles. I had no need to fear demotion last time, because it would only have meant I wasn't good enough for Ozeki anyway, he said. So even when I lost four matches in the first week, I wasn't anywhere near as alarmed as the people around me. But he at least had the grace to admit that eight wins can hardly satisfy a man of his status. He's won two of the past three November meets, of course. And when asked about Hakuho, he recalled their first meeting in July 2017, famous for a prolonged standoff, saying, I just didn't want him getting to my belt that day, especially on the inside. But that just made the match look closer than it was. I couldn't fluster him in the slightest. And when I finally did beat him 18 months later, mm, he was likely out of condition. Hakuho's Yokozuna replacement, meanwhile, has resumed his role in the commercials he first starred in six years ago when making Ozeki for the first time. From November the 1st, he'll be the face of Ochazuke maker Nagatanien's Poka Poka Panda campaign, which allows customers to apply for a toy panda gift by submitting three product barcodes. Nagatanien, I believe, consistently buys more sponsored banners than anyone else. In other news, on the final day of October Interstable, Hiradoumi geared up for his first meet at salaried level with a grinding session against Ishiura, Azumaryu, and Nishikigi. Then revealed that stablemate Sadanoumi had made him promise to go for the Division 2 title. Well, that's what most salaried newcomers say. Sada, like Hirado, comes from Kyushu, where the next tournament will be staged. There's no better incentive to perform than home support. And speaking of support, don't our Yokozuna and Ozeki have piles of it? Hakuho apparently has the funds for his $20 million stable project. Kisena Sato bought a huge piece of land in Ibaraki for his new stable, and is renting another large space for Kyushu. And now, Go Edo feels rich enough to go solo. It seems Coach Sakaigawa has agreed to let him break away next spring and form a new Takekuma stable. Backers in his native Osaka seem on board, so expect an announcement round about Osaka 2022 if not before.